Uh, the receiver for some defunct financial institutions, uh, Eric Nanandipa, has begun the second round of payments to depositors of defunct savings and loans and microfinance institutions through bonds. This was after it completed the first batch of cash payments. George Raffi has been, has been following up on this. He has more in this report. According to the notice issued by the receiver at Nanipa, the payment began today and will be done through Consolidated Bank Ghana. The receiver had earlier indicated that the first round of cash payment will be capped at 70,000 Ghana cities, while the remaining will be done through a bond payment issued by government. The notice from the receiver also adds that the bond which is backed by government is worth 4 billion Ghana cities and will be a five-year paper but zero rated. The first payment for this bond will be done in March 31, 2020, and after that, some payments will be made every six months. You know, the receiver is hoping to carry out some 10 equal installments. This is more of a paper that has been guaranteed by government, and some gradual payments will be made at a certain time. Consolidated Bank is expected to open a non interest bearing account for those claims that have been validated. Receiver Eric Nipa has maintained that they are committed to paying everyone. They surely will get all their monies as determined and instructed by the president. Mm -hmm. uh, we, ha we have made full provision for this. Mm -hmm. And within a month, not later than end of March, they will be fully paid for those whose claims have been validated. So I would ask for some restraints and they exercise some patience. The receiver also revealed that as at the end of March 31, 2020, it has paid 920 million Ghana cities after some 1 billion Ghana cities were set aside for this cash payment. It's now left with about 80 million Ghana cities to be paid to those depositors whose claims have been validated but are yet to receive their monies.